Hi, this is John with Light of the Scripture, inoculating you against the evil mindset of this world with the Word of God, with the Bible. And today we're going to be looking at Ephesians. I hope I can see this. I've got to zoom it a little bit. Ephesians 5.14. And it says, uh, Therefore, he says, uh, this is actually referring to Jesus, uh, says, Awake, you who are asleep. Arise from the dead. And Christ will give you light, or shine his light upon you. And uh, that is a very, very powerful, powerful verse. How many of y'all feel like you're walking around in a daze? Uh, that uh, the evil of this world has just absolutely knocked you out, knocked your spirit out, and uh, given you uh, such uh, hopelessness. I know so many people are panicking. Um, one thing, I watch uh, some prepper videos, and some of the preppers are panicking all the time. They think the world's going to end, and they may be right. Who knows? Uh, but, uh, yes, fine. times are very, very dark. But uh, we have a supernatural way to awaken from this. Uh, uh, when we turn to God... God becomes our, Jesus Christ actually becomes our hope. And God becomes our hope too. And uh, uh, it's like uh, whenever we receive the Holy Spirit and we're born again, our eyes are opened. And there's a, a we're, it's almost like we view a brand new world. You might say, John, that sounds appealing. I hope it does sound very appealing. And this actually uh, verse is a prayer of mine. For you, and uh, that I know many of you all are asleep, uh, but you realize that you're being lied to, and uh, that it's almost like somebody's calling your name, trying to get you to wake up. And I want to encourage you uh, to hear the voice of Jesus calling you, and uh, be awakened uh, from this uh, slumber. Uh, you know, one thing I, I really like is. Even though it's not a Christian movie, it's got some Christian themes in it. Uh, the Matrix movies. And um, just, it's like uh, everyone's asleep. And they were being controlled in a very nefarious way by the government. And uh, But uh, they uh, uh, come to find out that there was a different reality. It wasn't the prettiest reality, but uh, at the same time, it was a reality that had true hope. And uh, isn't that sad that uh, some individuals would like to lull you to sleep with uh, false promises, uh, with uh, constant lies. And But now Christ, uh, you come to Christ, you get the truth. And uh, so uh, I want to encourage you to hear the voice of Jesus Christ and uh, awaken um, if you are spiritually asleep and rise from the dead. What happens is if you, you know, if you remain in sin, then you remain in death and uh, need to have a cleansing of the sin that's in your life. Then you can be transformed. Uh, the Bible says that we are uh, converted. We are changed. We're made a brand new creation whenever we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, and said that Christ will give you the light. And uh, he'll uh, allow you to see things uh, just like they are. You might say, I don't want to see things like they are. Things are too bad. Well, if you're going to navigate through life, uh, we do need to be able to see things the way they are. And uh, many, many people are caught up in fantasies, caught up in, uh, um, you know, things that are not real. But uh, real is, is good. It's great. Uh, you know, Satan has done a lot to destroy what is real. But in spite of the fact I uh, had, a, had a loss yesterday, I, um, uh, my, my pet dog, Chloe, she uh, got hit by a truck, and she's, she's gone now. And... Uh, it, uh, uh, you know, was a downtime for me having that loss of a, of a dear pet. 
but uh, uh, you know, I know that the Lord is going to continue to provide for me, and uh, I know that if, if I stay in His Word, I will remain encouraged. So, uh, look out <laughs> and uh, and hear the voice of Jesus Christ. He's calling you. This is John with the Light of the Scripture, encouraging you to get deep into the Word of God and let the Word of God get deep into you.